Morning, ladies and gents. Welcome to Crypto Chat UK. I just want to talk about a little bit about what's going to influence the growth in the market because we're, we're, you know, we are currently looking at a little bit of a low. There's been another drop. It's down to just over 300 billion, say 320 billion or thereabouts. And, you know, there's a lot of influence in the market, positive and negative. So I just want to discuss what I think and what I believe will in, will help to increase the adoption rates for one, will include in, in, increase growth and influence, and will basically educate and expose the market more. There's a few things, you know, uh, some events I'll go through, just a little brief uh, to look at my thoughts on that. Stuff about, you know, uh, different tools for the job, you know, different tools that are coming out and um, different tools that are already out there. And our development is changing it and the user friendliness is increasing in the products. Um, so we'll have a quick look anyway and we'll just have a quick chat about it. Um, here we go. Let's, have a look. Let's bring up the website. This is the first thing I was going to mention to you. It's um, events. Now, most of these ones on here uh, have already happened. I think there's one, maybe two that hasn't. But it's just to give you an idea of what's regularly going on. Um, there is events all over the place, you know. It's regularly occurring. So all around the world. So if you have a look at this now, um, I think the token 2049, that's um, going to happen uh, on the 20th. So in about three or four days, 20th, 21st of March. Looks, I would love to go to that. If I had the time, I would, I would be on that, definitely. Um, but you look at that, and that's Hong Kong there. You've got another one in Africa that happened on the 8th and 9th of March. This is going down. Um, oh, March 22nd, actually. There you go. Estonia, that's still to happen. Um, blockchain and Bitcoin conference there. No doubt, obviously, lots of the uh, the crypto people out there will be down there. Um, people involved in the development and other cryptocurrencies and categories, but also um, from your basic investors like me, like your normal uh, punters who are investing all the way up to potentially institutional money as well. You know, I would love to go to some more of these events. I mean, it'd be fantastic to, to meet more people, you know, at all levels, you know, right up to, in, yes, and institutional money as well, you know, the institutional side as well. I would love to uh, get involved, start talking and uh, discussing what's going on in the crypto world and uh, finding a bit more inside information off someone, hopefully. But you look at that, there's another one in Dubai there. Uh, Dubai, beautiful place. I lived there for a little while. Absolutely loved it. Um, probably changed a lot since I was there. Fantastic place. Um, Germany, um, that's May the 3rd. Oh, so that's later in the year. There's another one for Dubai. Absolutely beautiful. Would love it. Miami, that would be fantastic. That, I think, has happened already. Um, but the, these are, you've got to imagine, um, there's more and more going out throughout the year. So if you can find out some of the events that are going on if you can get to them i would suggest going to because i love the one i went to in london absolutely fabulous um but you go up there you can have a look at all the events that are happening they are obviously gonna create more exposure more education and you know stuff's gonna be occurring while we're sleeping stuff is happening in the world so look at some of the stuff this is um i'm not spending much time on these but crypto calendar will give you um a few things on here uh, you'll see stuff that says AMA, uh, that's Ask Me Anything. So it might be online, it could be at an event and so forth. Some of these are probably going to the events. So Bitcoin Expo 2018, there's Enigma mentioning that. Uh, I think you might have some that are going to Hong Kong. Some will be online events. Um, just discussing, there's 10X. 10X is going to uh, the one in Hong Kong, the token 2049. All the same with Civic. Uh, REM there. So have a look. This is obviously there's so much going on. You know, there's so much continually going on constantly uh, in the cryptocurrency world. So and the blockchain. So uh, here's another one. Um, Kinda, Kinda. This is this is one that's kind of a regular use. Have a look at that. It gives you there's the AMA again. Um, ask me anything. So that uh, it'll, that'll be online, no doubt. Um, then there's other ones going to the conferences, talking about contests. So there's, you know, a lot of announcements on stuff, about how things are going, getting stuff in the community itself as well. So you can get involved in this, you can have a look at it, but this is just so that you can see that 
a lot of this is influencing the market in the future. This is stuff that's going to help. This is a news one. Um, you've probably already seen this, but this is CoinDesk. I don't know how reliable a lot of this news is, but CoinDesk I think is a good one. But you've got like good and bad news. You know, talking about what's been going on, some of the negative stuff about people trying to, uh, like you know, rip off schemes and stuff. They're trying to capitalize on the ICO kind of um, increase in people, the ICO gold rush that's going on at the moment and people trying to jump on that and con people. That's where you should be careful and I've said this in a previous video, always be extra extra careful, do your research. At the end of the day, any market will have dodgy people on who will try and capitalize on it. You know, they don't all share the same values we do and the same integrity. So you do have to be careful what you do. You know, just remember they don't share the same kind of concerns for your fellow man like we probably did. Okay, talks about Kodak here. There's one good thing here. Crypto featured for the first time in US Congress economic report. Now they're talking about advocating for wider understanding of the tech. I think that is fantastic because from uh, kind of what I'd call a domestic level, like your normal punters like me and everybody else, um, I've spent so long in it, I do understand the market and I understand it very well. And any gaps in my knowledge are being filled all the time. So it's constantly the growth and education for me has, has been massive and is constantly growing. But the, right up to the top, right up to the top, governments, authorities, departments don't understand the market. There are some people that do, some people who understand it a little bit. But to educate everybody uh, what it's all about and to understand the market better, I think it's very important. Because it's good job I've got my coffee into it, my macchiato. Keep me going this way. Um, so, you know, there's all sorts of stuff. So, releasing the news, the information that's going on. So, to get through all the FUD, the real truth, and not. I don't know if Coindesk, you know, is completely unbiased or like that. I don't know enough about Coindesk. But, you know, no doubt, somebody will let me know how uh, how good it is. So, um, the other thing I want to mention is, you know, part of the tools, you know, the wallets and stuff like that, payment tools are a big thing. Now, I suspect in the future will probably just be a wireless type thing with your phone. So, perhaps you'll have a wallet and um, you'll have your cryptos in there. You'll be able to purchase and stuff like that. I'll discuss wallets in a minute as well. Some stuff that's out at the moment and coming out. Um, but, you know, you'll probably have an easier payment thing, which will just be you know very easily and simple um wireless type thing so you'll just basically have like a quick pay swipe with your phone or so forth but here's some coin uh, some cards payment cards debit cards stuff like that um i don't tend to look on here this is um coin funder this is the first time i've looked at this one but this gives this one's got about six on here um quite a lot of them prepaid cards I'm not sure exactly the word, but there's two that I've ordered already. Not off this, but Monaco is one which I'm already invested in. Yeah, I found that through uh, coinmarketcap.com. And the other one is 10x. Now 10x, I found a link and I read all about it. And I quite liked it. I think they can. I think there's a lot we can do. I think they're going to develop even more. There's BitPay, which is a, a prepaid card as well. Um, I haven't tried using any cards yet, but I will do. But this is another thing, another tool that will probably help in increasing adoption, increasing awareness and tools to allow us to use it in a more mainstream way. And this is what we need as well. And at the moment, if I know what happens in the future markets, I don't know. But in the moment, you need to kind of have that connection to fiat cash. So we need to have that with our normal money. We need to have that at the moment. OK, the other thing I want to look at is wallets and the future of some of them. Uh, I'm always mentioning EFOS because I'm a big fan of EFOS, of course. Um, here's just a quick look at the display. This is a website. I'd, look, I'd recommend having a look at it anyway. They're just about to release. Here's some more images. They're just about to release. I think that's changed a little bit, them images. I'm not sure. I think they might have developed that a bit differently. But these um, are going to release this year, th this month. So I'm not sure what the date is yet. I haven't checked. But they are going to release the first version. I'm not sure how how many functions it's going to have on the first version yet, but from what I've seen and what I've read, EFOS will almost be able to do everything you need it to do. So the other companies, the other wallets, the other tools that are out there, it, it might set a benchmark for all the others. So it might do that, 
But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm pretty confident in what they're saying and what they're going to do. It looks like the team is working damn hard. They've tried to get the best people on it. They've spent a long time developing it. And they are constantly developing as they go. So let's hope the first one's a real eye-opener and, and really sees how, how the stuff's going. So this, this is all enabling us to, to get the user-friendliness of it. So more people will get involved. More people will start to educate and learn about it. And, and, and they'll get the idea and it'll help adoption rates to go up. It'll help, it'll help the growth of the market. It'll help the influence of the market. And it'll, it'll help financially, but it'll also help socially as well. Uh, engine wallet now this is one i downloaded just the other week and it shows absolutely it's got loads on there i don't think it's all of uh ethereum's based um uh, uh, coins cryptocurrencies should i say but it is certainly a substantial amount i mean it, you know i think it's in the hundreds i haven't i haven't looked thoroughly at but i downloaded it i put a load of mine in there and it is so easy and user friendly to use it's absolutely great i love it um, I think a payment system, uh, uh, if they could develop this similar to what Ethos's idea is and bring it into using fiat money, being able to buy the individual cryptos, that would, I mean, it would it would really help the market. Um, I think if that does happen and they are able to do that in the future, I think there's a lot of coin exchanges that may struggle. Don't quote me on that, but I think, you know, it could put some of them, I mean, if you're basically getting your exchange on your wallet, um, like EFOS might be doing, you're basically getting to do all your purchases and your, and your uh, swaps and your um, development. Then it's good. It might not, you know, it might be that the the coin exchanges are still required and they can't really bypass that. But so let's have a look at that program, that software. It's going to make it easier for sure. There was one one of my chaps in a small group we have. We chat now and again and we discuss stuff and we get involved. He's mentioned it, uh, Thomas Boyd. So a big thank you to him for. Uh, linking me to this one. This looks really good. It's only 20 coins, but this is one of those that I've not tried it yet, but it allows you to buy all, any of these 20 uh, cryptos with uh, fiat money. So your normal cash. So you probably set up your bank or your card or, or both if you need. Um, uh, and then you can just purchase straight through the app, which is fantastic. If that's the case, that is fantastic. And you know, You've got an exchange button on there. I haven't looked at this properly yet, but by the looks of it, from what I've seen so far, it looks really good. Um, kind of, um, you know, pretty amazing. I think uh, coin. It might be similar to Coinbase, just with more coins. But um, see what the charges are. The fees are. I don't know if it says that the fees are cheap or free. Don't know. Uh, I'd have to have a good look at it. But the whole utilization of the tool itself. The usefulness of it's amazing and it shows where it's going this is very early days still so it shows that we are developing um uh, in a good way there hasn't been as many announcements recently there hasn't been as many um developments but like ethos coming out this which i've just seen i don't know how long that's been out or if it's only just come out the engine wallet this i'm only brushing on the surface here there's a lot more out there looking at the cards as well and uh, and you know what I was going to say as well, if these could incorporate contactless payments, I think that might put the cards a little bit behind as well. So if if these kind of uh, apps could do contactless payments through the phones, that would be amazing as well. Um, maybe they could incorporate the two, the cards and this, and have like a little uh, contactless thing on your phone so you can pay easily. Uh, perhaps a secure way of doing it, of course, you need. But all these things, the, the, the point of this video is, that all these things alone, and I'm only brushing on the surface here, are going to help to make it more user friendly, help to educate, help to understand the market and use the market in a better and easier way. And in that way, growth is going to occur, adoption rates are going to go up, people are going to be more clear of not just the money, the growth side of it and the financial gains, but the actual um, use cases that it has for us worldwide society you know worldwide um, I hope you like this video if you do I'm going to carry on drinking my coffee if you do please click the like button if there's anything you think I've got wrong or I needed to add or you want to discuss let me know if you haven't subscribed then please hit that subscribe button because I am a new YouTuber and I could do with all the help I can get hope to speak to you soon guys get in touch anytime